Good morning, everybody, um, on this lovely, beautiful Mother's Day in South Florida. I miss you all. I haven't seen you for a long time and uh, getting a little cabin fever, but hey, we have to do what we have to do. Well, my name is Clive Botha, and today's scripture reading will be given by my wife, Crystal, and her daughter, Casey. Listen now for God speaking to you, and enjoy a cup of coffee. Today's scripture reading comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verses 12 through 14. For this is what the Lord says, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the wealth of nations like a flooding stream. You will nurse and be carried on her arm and dandled on her knees. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you. And you will be comforted over Jerusalem. When you see this, your heart will rejoice and you will flourish like grass. The hand of the Lord will be made known to his servants, but his fury will be shown to his foes. Today's message comes from the book of 1 John, chapter 4, verses 16 through 19. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We love because he first loved us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You know, so often when we think about God and the way that God loves us, we picture God as a father and all the way that a father loves his children. But if we look throughout scripture, we see many instances where God's love is described as a motherly love. And for all of us who have had our mothers or someone who's been a mother in our lives know that the love that a mother has is fierce. And the love that a mother has for us can point us to God's love. But don't take my word for it. Good morning and happy Mother's Day to all of you moms out there. My name is Rachel Comerford and I have the privilege of being the mom of two beautiful children, Hannah and Micah. Motherhood is one of the greatest gifts that I have ever been given in my life. And while motherhood is often difficult and very trying at times, becoming a mom has deepened my faith in ways that I never even knew were possible. One of the main ways that faith in my life has grown from becoming a mom is in simply how I pray. From the moment I knew about Hannah, I have prayed over my children that they would be able to feel in a very real and tangible way the love that God has for them. When I look at my kids and know that I would die for them, I think about the love that God had for me, that he did die for me. More than anything in this world, I just want my children to know how deeply they are loved by God. And no matter what they say or do, Christ has wiped their slates clean by his resurrection. Becoming a mom has shown me truly how much my mother loved me, that she taught me about Christ's love. I borrowed my mom's faith when I was a child, and now I'm letting my children borrow my faith. My greatest advice to all of you moms out there, even if you aren't a mom yet, or even to all of you dads or brothers or uncles, pray over your children. Let them borrow your faith. Happy Mother's Day. Hi, my name is Diane Beach. I am a mother of three. Being a mom is the most important privilege God has given me. It's one of the most challenging, but definitely the most rewarding. One thing I've learned through the challenges and rewards is to stop relying on myself so much and fully rely on God. This means praying continuously for help. The most important job I have as a mom is to share the love of Christ with my children. 
I pray that I can live up to this challenge every day. I will definitely need some help, and that means continuously praying. I just hope that my children will share the love of Christ with their children, and so on and so on. Happy Mother's Day. Good morning, happy Mother's Day. The greatest blessing of my life has been my family. Every day of being a mother and a grandmother, my faith in Christ has always given me guidance and strength in good and trying times. A couple times a week, or if I feel they are having a problem in their lives, I text my family different butterflies, which they know means God loves you and so do I, be strong. They have told me this is a special message and it helps them to remember that God and I are always walking beside them and with them. My grandchildren are in their teens now. Through the years, the memories we have formed will always be with us and our faith in God and each other will be strong and everlasting. Have a good day. Happy Mother's Day. God bless your family. My mom has been an exemplary role model in many aspects of my life, one being faith. She's always been there for me in times of despair to let me know that God loves me and he's on this journey with me. I think she's done a great job raising me and my two other siblings, and I am extremely lucky to be able to call her my mom. So as we celebrate that motherly love that has impacted each and every one of us, may we remember God's love for us, that fierce deep, unending love that has shaped us and guided us. And may that love point us to Christ, who taught us to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.